Hello guys, and welcome to episode 90 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Prussia, going for world domination. We're getting to a point where our relationship with the United States is getting very strained. We want to attack the Iroquois, but they are allied with them. So, this might cause us issues. I do have other targets that I can hit in the meantime. For example, we could take on the Huron Wayandot. We could also deal with the Quapaw rebels and also the rebels. Actually, that's the same rebels, the Quapaw rebels in Louisiana. We also want to go over to, obviously, Texas, but that's mainly going to be this army that does that. We are actually trading with Mexico. So maybe we can forego this trade agreement with the United States. Like maybe it doesn't matter. If we attack the Iroquois and the Americans decide to get involved, then maybe we can just, yeah, you know, we don't have to care so much. Although they will blockade my trade. So that is a problem. I don't think their navies are particularly special. They are just numerous. I have never really developed a navy, which I probably should have done at some point. But this navy is okay. It's a bunch of third rates and stuff. It's just that navies are expensive. And not really worth it for me. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get these guys on the ships. Panama should be just fine. Uh, let's come over here to Antigua, Guatemala. Next turn, we will take that from the Mayan rebels. Good. Alright, let's uh, go over to my lists. See what else we have to do for today. I do have my forces ready to go here. Let's get these onto the ship. We'll take a general. Gottlieb Schiegel or Schlegel. He's 27, he'll do. Let's pop him on to the boats. And off you go, good sir. Right, over here in the Kentuck territory and the Cherokee territory. Gonna want to get our men fixed up. I'm gonna want to get my troops out of these territories. Although this one's not gonna like me if I do, so we'll put them onto exemption from tax. And we're gonna work our way over to Upper Louisiana. Good. Next up, we have good old Fiedemann Lauder. Let's get them out of there. Like that's fine. Pop them on the ships. And round to Agvituk we go. It's going to be a tough battle. But I reckon we can get it done. Good. Anyone else? I'm kind of low on money in general, which is kind of funny. It's going to really suck if we go to war with the Americans, isn't it? <laughs> uh, can I see over the water here if I go over here? No, I can't. Who else needs to move? This rake. don't think there's really anything else I need to see. Like We'll see little armies here and there, but that'll be it. Ah, oh, this guy kind of got left behind, didn't he? Oops. We can get him on the way back, that's fine. Nothing down there. And this guy finally arrived in India. And we don't need him anymore. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Poor guy just trekked halfway across the world. Just arrived where he needed to be. And then pro pro turned around and told to go home. <laughs> Oh, that's silly. Yeah, they're defending this coast really well. 
I couldn't have used the steamship at all. But we'll have another steamship for future endeavors. I mean, I can use it to transport my guys to America, so that's fine. We're going to have a lot of troops. We'll just go through the East Indies and then go to the Americas and drop them off over here. Actually, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the best idea. Uh, we probably just want to go from India to the Americas. Yeah. Okay. That is it. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. One nice thing about my priest there is it is going to give me some extra information. Well, this could be a good opportunity. Yeah, we'll take this because it makes the attack on Hyderabad easier. Perfect. Let's jump on in. I didn't expect to be getting an attack like this so soon, so that's really nice. Good little battle. Clean out the settlement, and then we can just ask them to surrender. Assuming that we kill enough of them. Right, that hill is really bad. Uh, let's just move ourselves over here. Okay, good. Just speed things up. All the reinforcements coming in behind us. Oops. Shoot them to pieces, lads. Oh, some of my men went flying. It's okay. We're going to want to turn this around. I'm going to get my... See my sepoys in battle. Get my Karasias over to the left. To help with this cav. Probably just going to square formation these, and we'll have to protect our flank. I'm going to get the company calf to help out. Let's go and attack the Pindari horsemen with my Kavasias. They're going to just shoot us otherwise. In melee, my heavy cav should beat the Pindari horseman. terrible place for them. Yeah, that's really not hitting anything, is it? Those Pindari horsemen don't want to die. Oh, that unit came in behind. Oops. I was going to say, I just need to check the unit behind me. <laughs> Oops, the daisies. <laughs> That's 
awkward. Let's pull these off as well. If these only fire from the first rank, we'll spread them out more. forgot about the guys coming in that we were initially up against. It's my bad. I don't know if I should take the risk of uh, trying to... I mean, we are actually hitting some of those with the canister, so that's fine. Get the company cab to go deal with the artillery there. Oh, I've let my heavy cab get killed as well. Gosh, I'm playing this badly. I should still win, but this is not my finest battle. We're going to charge these in the front of the back. Yeah, my heavy cab got killed. This force is ridiculous. Keep my general away from that engagement. Run these forwards a bit more. Get these out of that formation. Alright, here we go. Firing squad. Somehow managed to keep my artillery alive. I think the play here is to charge. And we have these come in the back. Get my general in there. So, what we do need to take out the cannons. Risky, but we'll get the general to do it. And we'll continue because we do want to run these guys down. Otherwise, I'm going to have a hell of a hard time actually taking the settlement. 
Which I think we will anyway, because we're going to have a pretty large amount of armed citizenry in there. Yeah, I kind of messed up this battle big time. I might have another big army nearby that can help us out. That was rough. Lost almost half my army. They are blocking my trade a little bit. I'm going to reduce our income a little bit more. Or oh, the Inuits actually... Okay, they moved some of their forces away and then attacked us. It looks mostly Cav, which is good. All right, let's do it. Not normal that we usually get this many battles in an end turn. It's nice to see the AI be a bit more proactive. Actually, saying that, I think the last one was an opportunity to intercept. But anyway, uh, let's get our cannons set up. We're going to do two sets there. Like, it's mostly Cav, so... I'm just going to do standard line formation. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming from. Looks like mostly behind us over there. We've got one over there, one like over there, and then one sort of over here. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna grab these and we're gonna adjust our entire line. And meanwhile, I'm going to set up defensive line behind us, and these are going to move on to the hill. They'll probably fall back and we can shoot them again. Good. I just put these into square formations. Alright, Grenadiers are doing a good job against the Native American Lancers there. Oh, we've wiped those ones. I'm gonna wipe these ones as well. These forces are in a bit of a weird spot. We'll try and take out the medicine men. I'm just going to push him with the grins on both sides. Make sure we kill them off. Oh, 
Right now we need to spread out a bit better to deal with those. I think I'm just going to charge them with everything we got. Should be enough. get my cab involved here just get all of these infantry around them smother them that way they can't get away good all right now we just line up our cav get ready to attack their musketmen These guys got wrecked. It's good. Let's go get our generals to take care of them. Good. Get the general away. I think that's what the medicine men are going after. Let's charge him. Second to last unit. Used our cavalry pretty well this battle. Let's just spread these out into a line. This force is definitely going to need some R&D though. <laughs> So we'll run these down and we'll leave it there. Wonderful. So that should remove the Inuit from the settlement, and then we can just take it next turn. They want, <laughs> they want Finland. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get Acadia, but Finland? <laughs> Why? <laughs> like they want free land in Europe. The military access indefinite and punch card loom. No, thank you. I'm good. All right, we have another missionary in Norway. Why are they always 
appear in Norway. It's like the most far away per a place that they could ever spawn. It's ridiculous. We got a rake in Egypt. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> and we, oh, that's good. Okay, we managed to get a Protestant missionary in Punjab. So that's kind of handy. And we got a new national leader. Nice, because the king died. Hopefully our new king is actually better. Frederica Luisa I. This nation has crowned its new and undoubted queen at a lavish ceremony in their capital. This is the wish of all the loyal subjects that she bears a strong male heirs to continue her line. Interesting. So, how good is she? Happiness to look. She's actually bon vivant. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's crazy. That's really good. That's as like as good as it can get for a lead. <laughs> All right, amazing. That means I can probably get away with taxing all these people now. Uh, maybe not some of them. That's fine. Got a new town emerged. Okay, we need to burn down this ashram. I think I'll put a coaching in in there. Just to help public order. Well connected mistress. For our gentleman. Minus one morale in battles for Hendrik Farber because he's bloody. Yep. Fair enough. Right, this force I think can leave, so we can put them in there to deal with that public order. That way this army doesn't have to go back on itself. This army is in range to help take Hyderabad. I mean, I might just have it lead the charge. And I'll take that surrender, thank you very much. Cool. So that's another settlement down for them. Got letters of demands. Be exempt. It's fine. Lots of construction done. Uh, I would like to upgrade these. So we can get more goods out of them. Uh, we have this force ready to go kill these guys. I'm probably going to have to play it out though. Oh no I don't. Okay good. Sent out a little scouting force to deal with them. Alright, then we can start heading south with this force as well. A division of labour's done. So now we'll be going on to joint stock companies. I don't know if that's necessarily the best choice. It's only going to take 10 turns, so maybe it is. I should probably get that done, the spinning mule, so we can actually get the water-powered cloth mill and then we can finally upgrade to the steam-powered cloth mill. I'm so far behind in technology, it's ridiculous. Okay, what's this army doing? I think for now we're going to go up to the Kurunwayandot and take them out. Can't quite see the settlement. And this army. What do we do with this army? Like, if we attack the Iroquois, I'm probably going to need this army near Quebec. Just because obviously America is going to come for us. I think I'll just take the opportunity to get them 
fixed up. We could also head up to Rupert's land in the meantime. Anyway, let's uh, finish off these guys. It's goodbye to the Inuit nations. And we'll want to burn that down. Uh, we can burn that down as well. And hopefully I can just leave straight away. Yep. Right, let's head up and around. Let's get this built up. It's very poor. Uh, let's just do a craft workshop, maybe. Okay, back to the move points. This army can obviously just carry on down. We have this force that I kind of want to fix up, but might not be worth fixing up. We could just chase down this little force, I guess. Kill them off. And just gets them out of the way, at least. Gonna put a craft workshop in there. These guys can get over to America. Actually, that army, supported by the army that's already in uh, Fort Nashwag, might be able to threaten Falmouth, which is good. We'll just take Quebec, and then we'll be able to just go down and attack Kayagua afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, that could be the play. So if we actually just get those out, put them in there for now. I think that's probably the thing i got to do. Carry on towards that settlement. We're going to be taking Antigua, Guatemala. Thank you very much. It's a shame there's no like ports here or anything. We will get ports eventually when they grow, but it's going to take a little while. Right, that's fine with us leaving, so that's good. What next? Alright, this army could attack Satara. I think it's probably worth just going for it. Like, no brakes on this train. Actually, I could have this army do it. Yeah, let's have Arthur Ratzlaff do it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating when that happens. Okay, it's fine. I mean, it's almost guaranteed that we're going to have to do it with the other army, but it's whatever. <laughs> it's so silly. Alright, this force coming down. <laughs> Let's just have a look at anyone else that needs to move. I will just get it done. Alright, let's do it. Our forces in Madnagar are going to come out and attack. I might leave my Dragoons behind though. To help deal with public order. I might have to do more than that actually. Yeah, we'll leave those sort of low health units. And we'll attack with these guys. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. At least the reinforcements are going to be coming in from behind this element. 
so we won't have to worry about being flanked straight off the bat. But this battle, I guess, would be the end of the Maratha Confederacy. This is like the last big fight we're probably going to end up having with them because it's unlikely that they're going to be able to build up a force in Goa. And then following that, they only, they only have one more settlement left on the uh, east coast. So I think we'll be taking that pretty fast afterwards. Right, let's just go up here. I do have reinforcements coming in over there. Interesting. I'm just gonna have these walk around. Like instead of doing like funky two attack, like two way attacks, like I'm just gonna bring it all around to the same side. Don't have to worry about things. Are these reinforcements, like this one, I should probably retreat, but I don't really want to bring in more reinforcements over there either, so not a big deal. Just point blank the corner, nice and quick. Good. Alright, let's get these limbered up again. I might just shoot that wall actually. They're gonna stay on it. They want to pop their head out. Or did that destroy the cannons? Not all of them, there's still one left. Okay, we'll just blow this open as well. Okay, cool. That did more damage. I think it's also left some of their units stranded on top, which is kind of funny. So I'm going to deploy here. And I'm going to deploy here. Camels came in hot, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. We got the Sapai coming in as well. Let's just turn these line infantry.
Good. Alright, let's get these out of their square formations. This one's going to want to line up in front of the breach there. It's a canister range. Perfect. Let's get a couple of these units to go and run to the left side. Check to the, the gate. And uh, we're going to want to shorten that line. Uh, through the breach. Do have to be careful of these units on the wall, actually. I've fall back a little bit. So we're not in range. Looks like we kicked the hornet's nest. <laughs> They're coming. That's a lot of elephants as well. At least we're set up. One thing I will say. Okay, we're taking out some of the elephants already. Well, that's the majority of the elephants dealt with. I think we're going to have to charge forwards, though. I'm going to have to fire across. With this unit. Oh, interesting. Okay. We brought some elephants out from that side. Not sure how effective these horsemen will be against elephants, but we'll give it our best shot. I think they trample horses pretty fast. Then again, seems to be doing okay there. Pretty interesting engagement. Macav really haven't lost many men. We still have a unit of infantry fighting in there. Okay. Uh, let's have the Ulans go and run down the armed populace so they don't come back. Yes, 
The other thing is, this unit can just unload and we can start pumping canister into them. Oh, they actually decided to attack us there. Okay. Let's uh, go melee with these guys as well. Get them involved. Good. Great. Okay. Well, that looks like we've got most of the job done. The reinforcements have just arrived in the settlement. This hasn't gone too badly. I'm tempted to shoot this wall to pieces. They keep shooting me with the wall. I'm just going to break that down pretty fast. Or at least make it 50% so they get off. Yeah, whatever. We'll just destroy it. If they want to stand there, then that's fine. we go. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is we're going to stop them, put them on canister, and then give them fire at well back, and then see what they do with that. I'm going to limber this one up. We're going to line up like so. We're going to get these nice and close to the breach. We can just line up across. We'll try and coax some of these out of there. Looks like they're coming. <laughs> what is with these lines? <laughs> so weird. Fire through the breach with that one. Fire through the breach with that one. Good. Taking out the majority of them. Just waiting for them to rally forth now. <laughs> Those ones on the wall just got demolished. Mm, 
That's really odd. It's like we can't actually attack them. Does this have the range to fire all the way through? Because if it does, that would be a decent way to finish them off. There's only two units left. Okay, there we go. Finally. <laughs> I was going to say, surely army losses soon. <laughs> We got there. All right, 382 lost. That was a really good battle. Very successful. And we've taken the Shinawa Wada. Very nice. This magnificent fortified palace is a visible expression of Maratha greatness. Well, now it's a visible expression of Prussian greatness. Fantastic. If you'd like to read that, make sure to pause. All right. Let's just fix all of this lot up. That's going to cost me a lot, blimey. And from there, can I actually just move on? Oh, there is a f an army in here. If that army wasn't there, we'd probably be able to attack Goa in the same turn, but we'll wipe out the modern university. And that should fix our public order problems. Well, for the most part. Might have to deal with a couple of rebellions here. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, let's uh, see who else needs to move. Uh, yes. So, yeah, this is the last settlement that they're going to have, Arcot. And then they're dead. So I'm pretty sure we reach there in two turns. Although this settlement is not particularly happy. Okay, they are fine if we leave. That's very poor. We'll put a church school, and that can be a craft workshop. This army is ready to go, but I think what we'll do is just do this. I think technically the steamship can move further. Yeah, I'm not going to attack Mexico. We'll just go straight over to the Pueblo Nations with this army. And then we can head over to Santa Fe. And I think Mexico will probably be the last faction that we kill. Because they're going to be my trade partners. None of these other ones are moving. That's fine. I think we're all done. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll move about our rakes and finish off the turn. And then we'll carry on with wiping out the Marathic Confederacy, who are very much on their last legs. That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.